Okay, H&M. H&M. They've had some ups and downs in their practices over the years. At one point, I had to boycott them um, because they were using cheap labor in India, I believe. And that was, you know, when they're having all the factory fires and stuff like this. Anyway, they sort of made some changes there. Then they were pretty good because they allow you to take your clothing back and stuff back and then you get a discount on what you buy it could be anything it doesn't have to be clothing bought from them you just take a bag of clothing that clothing there and then they give you a discount anyway now what's h&m oh a retail shopping store clothing hers and misters worldwide is that what h&m stands for hers and misters oh what does it stand for harold and kuma i mean it Go stands for <laughs> Henna's and Moritz. Ah, uh, oh, boring. Yeah, mm. I like hers and his. I mean, misters. Hers and misters. Yeah. Um. Anyway, latest thing they're doing is they're doing free suit hire for people that have a job interview. So what they do is. If you have an interview coming up and you don't have, you know, a nice suit or, you know, a tire for your interview and you want to look your best, whatever. It's pretty good. You hop online, you order your suit and they deliver it to your door. You would go to your interview, you hire it for, it's a 24 hour period. Mm. Then it comes with a bag, prepaid mm. bag and you, and you basically post it to one of the um laundry services that are part of this program Mm. they clean it up dry clean it and it gets sent back to h&m for the next person that's a pretty good idea i like that idea it's pretty good huh quick question Hmm. does it have to be a job interview you just or regular interview what what do you mean what other time yeah what interview are you on tv or something a first date can be considered to be an interview Uh (laughs) I see what you've done there. <laughs> I see what you've done there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know because I mean I guess you don't you're not going to have to prove it are you? So Yeah. So the, th- the thing I like about this personally is do you know how many jobs they've expected me to wear a suit to an interview and they never once like to wear a suit for the actual job? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. How many? Like pretty much any office job you go for, yeah. you should be wearing a suit to the interview. Yeah. yeah, if you didn't turn up in a suit yeah. or like professional clothing, it would be sort of looked upon like, hmm, you didn't put in effort. Can I tell you about um, my interview for my job? Yes. So I didn't, I've never had to go for an interview because most of them have been like um, a bakery. You don't need to wear a suit for that or like a clothing store. So you never had to wear... Um, I was going to say, I, I was at the interview for your job. No, I mean... I think I drove you. No, I think the... In, no, no, no. The interview <laughs> before we went for the test. Oh, another test. Yeah, yeah. The interview. So, okay. I went for this interview thinking you had to wear a suit. So, the interview was 45 minutes away from my house by train, right? And then when you get off the train, it is a 25-minute walk through a field, I think you've told us this before. I have. And on that day, it was 40 degrees. So I'm carrying my (laughs) resume and a blazer. And I'm walking through this freaking field in 40 degree heat, right? And then in this field, I forgot to mention, there's this massive hill, right? Why did you have to go through a field? Because that's where I had to go through the field because it was it was in the agricultural part of the university. Oh, okay. So I'm walking up this field and I get to the oh, top. I, I was going to say, it's like, it's like Australian Ninja Warrior. The person that gets there. <laughs> <laughs> so I get to the top, right? And the lady, she looks at me and she can see that I'm sweating. She goes, take off your blazer, son. Take off your blazer. I took my blazer off and my suit was... I didn't even think about taking my blazer off while I was walking. I was just like so focused on this interview. Because it's like when you're 18, you just, you're like, all right, I need to have a good impression. So I took my, um, took my blazer off. She said, take off your tie, relax, here's a glass of water. And I looked around and everyone was wearing shorts. <laughs> 
<laughs> a t-shirt <laughs> and like um those tradey shirts like it was like and i was high like vis. no no high vis you know those um it was like the checkered shirts, yeah, you know I the know. checkered shirts mm. and they were and i was like there was a guy he was in shorts and a cowboy boots and i was like <laughs> okay what the hell is going on right and i've rocked up and they i like i took my blazer off because it was a hands-on interview so they told you what are the tools here so i rolled up my sleeves I didn't need to wear a blazer. I needed to wear a suit. I did, did you not. know your tools? No. <laughs> how did you get the any. job? They said, do you know what? They they gave me scenarios about how to like put things together. And I was like, I got it. And I was like, I don't know what this is. I just started putting stuff in holes, screwing things in. I didn't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> and I think the only reason why I got the job, and this is the funny thing. The only thing that stuck in school was how electricity was transported from the power station all the way to the house. You right? remembered that? I could, I can visually see it. And they were like, because I'm, um, anyways, I was saying, oh yeah, you got to step up the voltage. And then when it gets down to the lower, you got to step it down so that you don't have light. Anyways, I was saying all this stuff and I don't know where it came from. <laughs> and I was just spitting it out, but my hands on was hopeless. <laughs> They're like, do you know what this is? I go, oh, wrench, wrench. No, that's a shifter. I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I got the job. I didn't have to wear um, a suit. So okay. the, I, I guess, I guess that suit worked. Yeah. Uh, you did reckon? Ev did everyone get the job? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. I don't know what. Did you see any so, of those other people? Yeah, just, did the, uh, have you ever seen cowboy boots again? Yeah. I did see cowboy boots. I did see oh, him because I, I remember him. So, well, in, in in, did you see him the most... in the job? Yeah, he was in my apprentice group. That, maybe, that maybe not my cowboy boots. Yeah. The most impactful interview of your life. Yeah. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, it's it's my only experience, right? And the next interview I go in, you're gonna we'll... wear cowboy boots <laughs> and shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, partner. <laughs> I'm the Asian cowboy. Bang, bang. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> You've got to do it. Man. You've got no choice. Oh, Hello, partner. I'm the Asian cowboy. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Back yeah. to the H&M. So, um, customers won't be responsible for small tears or small rips mm. or, any, or like small stains. But if they do any major damage, they have to pay for the suit. So mm. That's nice. Yeah. I think if I owned a barber, I'd give free haircuts to people that, um, that had an interview. Yeah, that's nice. If, if, I, if, I, if I owned a barber shop, I'd give free haircuts to bald people because they shouldn't have to pay. For again, their sides cut. <laughs> There's this a new barber shop are. in Blacktown, West Point, next to JD Sports, and I think it's got a um, a pool table in there. Oh, yeah. I think um, this suit thing, though, I think I, I love it that they're doing this. I think it's a really good practice, and let's make this commonplace. Um, the reason people are going for job interviews, for the most part, or the reason people who are going for job interviews who don't already have a suit. It's because they don't have a job, which means they don't have the ability yeah. to pay for these things. So let's let's make this general practice. Or alternatively, let's stop making people wear suits to interviews. Yeah, mm. I quite so like the they're... not wearing a suit because pe just you can get more of a vibe for who the person is. Oh, but is there? Do you reckon for an interview there has to be some sort of etiquette, like the, a, a standard at least? Yeah. Like jeans or pants or something, and a shirt, or just anything goes. I reckon, I, I reckon chinos should be fine. How about jeans, shorts? So, okay, I'm going two minds here because I was gonna say like, I was gonna in my mind I was gonna say let people wear whatever they want, and as Emma said, that will tell you a lot about the yeah. person in terms of what they rock up in. Mm. But then I went to the mind of. There are people out there, and I'm going to use this example, even though he did have a suit, um, the pursuit of happiness. Mm. There are some people who 
who are in a situation so down and out of their luck, they may not have suitable quotas for what right. we would put as a minimum standard mm. for an interview, but it doesn't mean they're not capable of the job. Yeah. But getting them the job would then put them in a situation to have the quotas. Mm. Yeah. So I think this is this is my gripe with suits in general. It's whether they're for an interview or or it's actually expected where in the job is the only purpose that I think they serve is a barrier to entry. Like that's it. Because they don't make you better at your job. They don't actually make any difference to business dealings. They don't they have no impact other than to make people who see you acknowledge the fact that you have at least enough money for the suit. And you're probably, because of that, better at your job. Like, it, it makes no sense to me. <sighs> Every time I it think is, of a suit, me, I think of Harvey right from entry. Suits. Yeah. yeah. I, I, don't know I, I would, I would um, when a suit, I don't know. Every time I wear a suit, it makes me, I feel different in a suit. I don't know why. Is that because is that because of you wearing a suit or because you know how you're perceived in a suit? Just wearing the suit. So if you were to wear a suit around the house, you'd feel different. You've probably worn a um, suit. You can probably count on one hand how many times you've worn a suit. Not that yeah, often. Yeah, no, I don't wear it. Yeah. How many, how, how many weddings have you been to? No, not even wedding. Like when we, there was a period of time when I was going out and wearing, not wearing a suit, a full suit, but like, I was like, it's pretty much a suit. But the blazer. This is what the jacket. This is what I mean, though. If you, because I get what you mean. Like when I wear it, when I've done a suit, and, you know, I yeah, fill the part. Yeah. But if I were to put on that same suit and not leave the house and no one wants to see me, I feel like an idiot. See, so okay, because I don't wear a suit that often, right? But like when I put on a suit to see if it still fits. And I walk around, I go, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I walk around there, and then we'll go, are you going to get out of that? Not just yet. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> one minute warning. One but I get what you're saying, morning. Alexander. Oh, like, just it's like... It, it's it's not practical. It doesn't seem practical. Like, attire, a suit. You feel on, I don't know. I don't know. Like you, I mean, you have to take the jacket off just to sit yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> Like it's, there's, there's just so ties as well. Don't get me started on top. There's so much about professional wear to me that makes no sense. Mm. Yeah, my little, my little, my friend's little boy has started kindy and I, I saw his uniform and they have to wear tie. ties in kindy. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not even, pri- it's not a private school, it's public yeah. and they, they make him wear a tie in kindy. Yeah. And a lot of, well, all Good the boys. private schools, you will get a detention if you don't, wear your blazer even outside the school like when you're walking home you have to be wearing your blazer if you're not you'll get a detention mm. even if it's 40 or so degree like de- de- degree it's, heat if it's 40 degrees they have to wear right? it still like and my friend's stuff son them, like, yeah stuff that my friend's son in in catholic school they're not only even allowed to take their blazers off inside the classroom they better have air con huh? they better have air con that's yeah, oh and my kid gets dehydrated i'm punching I'm punching crap out of the teacher. Mm. <laughs> I'd Crazy, love, right? I'd love it. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was that. Well yeah. done, H and M. Well done, H and M.